Morning guys, Sarah Schwartz here from Ascent Trading. Woke up this morning guys to what I've been banging the table for the literally since I started mining. Um, with the ETH difficulty going up, the graphics card shortage and all that. I've been mining um, UBQ. Um, it's a great company, they've won tons of awards. It's a, a better a better smart contract platform, so it's an improved Ethereum. Um, they tweeted that they're going to the Einstein Exchange in early 2008. Einstein Exchange has already um, replied, confirmed uh, for 2018. So this has shot the price up. Um, I remember UBQ was under a dollar. Uh, we've had some days where it's bounced from dollar to two dollars to, to three dollars, and come back down. Um, it's now trading well over four. Um, this is this is great news for us us miners that that hodl most of our, our, our mining profit um, from the coins. So, we've got that going on. So, it's great news there, guys. Also, recap of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's over 1,500. We've had as high as 1,548. Um, it's, it's moving guys like if you got that that, that 1061 on Gemini buy you literally got 50% 50% return like all oh, this panic oh gosh what am I going to do what am I going to do um, just get more Bitcoin um, get more Bitcoin to get you more more fiat when you flip it out or just get more Bitcoin because you want more Bitcoin so that there is gorgeous to see um, the Bitcoin so good news all around Bitcoin and and UBQ for, for us miners good day to good day to wake up well every day you wake up is a good day all right a couple guys have asked me about getting into mining um there's tons of videos out there um but i guess it's around the same area that people are having a little bit of confusion so i'm gonna do a quick little video so when you buy your your pack of risers these risers let you put these cards so a you can expand your motherboard capacity for graphics card and secondly so you can spread them out a little bit so you can get a little bit less heat um, it lets you put them in different positions either outside your case or just basically into what we call those open air rigs so when you buy it you get one of these you'll get one of these and the USB cord and one of these extenders these are what goes into the motherboard and then you plug this into USB okay so that's what you get in your package. Now, one thing people have been noticing is that they've been shorting out. So put a little bit of, of electrical tape on the back of it like this. Oops, sorry. A little bit of electrical tape on the back of it like this just to cover up this metal part here that's exposed. And then when you plug it in, this part here won't connect with it. Some people wrap the entire thing, but realistically, all you need is just to cover up that little piece right there. Once you cover that up, it will prevent you from getting shorted out okay so now you take this piece connect it in here so you see where this click goes and then you put it right into there and you snap it down click it's in place USB goes into the USB and then your graphics card goes in the top now this is a satirizer uh, sorry, a SATA, SATA connector for your riser. I personally don't use these. Reason being is I run big rigs. So, like, I run 12 cards, 10 card rigs. So, for me, I prefer these. It's a power splitter. So, I plug this into the VGA, the same thing that would power up my, my graphics card. And then this end will go into the graphics card, and I split this end down into six and that goes into the back of the riser. So I'm actually going to put another card onto one of my rigs 
So snap, click, it's in place. Then take the USB. That's in place. I can do all this before I put the card on. And then take the card. Take your graphics card. Slide that in. Connect it down. It's in place. Then you got this little lever here. Push that forward. That now locks the card in place so your riser won't fall off. I like to do that to lock them all in place. So that's done. Take the power end of this, plug this into the top right here. And then snap it down to make sure it's in place. Locked in. So that's what the finished product looks like, guys. It's it upside down. It's in. Plug that into the VGA. Card's good to go. This end here, just pretty simple. Goes right into this piece right here. Locked in place into the motherboard and that's it you've now powered your riser by doing that I'm um, sorry you powered your riser by connecting with the with the splitter and now you've connected the motherboard to the riser by doing this and plugging it in and that's it guys um, and now your card once you boot it up will start running um, with the other ones like I said there's tons of videos out there guys I just wanted to go over this one thing because a lot of people were actually asking me about where to get these parts so I've gone ahead I'm gonna put it into the description for you guys so you guys can just click on and and see these exact ones you've got to make sure you get the six pin um, if you get the four pin you can't use the connector like I did you have to use your peripheral um, and uh, or the SATA, SATA connector so personally I prefer these I find them, they run more stable um, literally I run I restart my rigs every 56 hours um, that's what I do it's just automatically I restart my rigs every 56 hours so hope that helps guys um, so again UBQ going to Einstein exchange Bitcoin going back up and just a quick little video on connecting your card to the graphics card to the GPU riser sorry Swiss for centrating out have a great day guys